It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the New York Jets. And it's coming up next. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the New York Jets. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gaughton with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. Under center is a six foot two, 225 pound signal caller, Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in game mistakes, few and far between. They fake the give. Now Rodgers stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. Who with a juke. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. A six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Off the play fake, Love. And that went to the right side and incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and ten.
First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. They'll come up facing third and five. Here's Love. That is caught. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pickup there, 21 yards. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. First down, going to the air with Love. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. First down, love to pass. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, He's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and 10. Love looking to throw it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run, and that's a nice job there getting the safeties involved in run support. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Jacobs again. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt, turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a second and ten. Rodgers going to throw. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. First carry for the Iowa State man. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs. First time he touches the football, and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. On second down, a run with Hall. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the... And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. 
We have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. On first and ten, Love. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On second down, Love once more. Got Dobbs over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Completes it again to Dobbs. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a yard. On play action. Love to throw. That's taken in by the tight end, Josiah DeGuara. And he's going to get this inside the 30. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine. Working out of the gun. Love. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 17-yard line. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Two yards left on second down from the nine. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. 
Jacobs will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. They hand off to their big tight end, and he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Tucker Kraft taking it in from a yard out. And the Packers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And this taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now Rodgers. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Paul ought to give up the middle. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. On play action, now Rodgers. That is caught. It's Williams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 32 that time. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection... That's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Throwing is Rodgers. Well, this is caught by Williams. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have got it back to within a score. Sometimes you get a first and goal, and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line, and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second down, Jacobs once more. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Eccles, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive, now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, Things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Well, the Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. 
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here comes the offense again. And let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Throwing. Love. And the Jets' pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams, there to bring him down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. The Packers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 14. Love. And that is incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package. Lots of speed. No space to fit into football. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Taken at about the 36. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. Rodgers looking to throw on second down. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. To throw, it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. 
unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to putt it away. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The Packers offense set to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. First down, going to the air with Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Love now. Now they go screen. It's complete. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They work now on second and nine. To throw now. Here's Love. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Again, it's Love. To the sideline and incomplete. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. He's thrown one interception already, and that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the game is going to go like that. But it does seem that he's a little bit off in his approach to this one. Yeah, it does. And that was a risky throw right there. Got to be careful about taking care of the ball, making sure you get back within yourself. I mean, those mechanics that they work on all the time, they're there for a reason. Kind of get back to those and maybe tamp it down a little bit. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. 
And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They go bootleg. Love. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Love. That's complete to Dobbs. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Love looking to throw it. That's taken in, Dontavian Wicks. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now second and nine. Once again, it's Jacobs. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On third down, Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That gain on third down, good for 28. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Love, they go play action now. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here's a second and five. Back to the running game with Jacobs. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Love from the gun on third down. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Packers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. 
circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion well let's take it into the boxing ring you talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab 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 and finally the haymaker to put that drive away joseph connects on the extra point and it's now 21 to 7. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's a second and eight. Now Rodgers. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard game. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On play action, it's Rodgers. Out right, he's got Ruckert. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll make it second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Rodgers to throw on second down. He's got it to Williams. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Rodgers will try again on second down. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Rodgers to throw once more. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive.
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And it's caught. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sacked back at the nine-yard line. Preston Smith picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. And the Packers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. 22 yards there, a first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. 58 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second down and four. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Four yards the pickup, first down. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Jermaine Johnson 
Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now Love. Throw left side is complete to Reed. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 33 yards that time. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. But well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Love now to pass on first down. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball at the 14 for second and five. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Love. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Now Greg Joseph for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Joseph is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. Joseph now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there. And New York set to take the field. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 21. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 22 now, here's the second and nine. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. The offense on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. Rodgers now on first down. He'll find Williams on the slant. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Rodgers now to throw. This pass out wide to Hall. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 22-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And now they're in the hurry up. Rodgers again now. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jets have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical.
Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Down to about the 32. What you talking about, ref? So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well and he starts to slip off of you and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Now they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Going on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll take this one down to the 36. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Joseph's got it, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Joseph now to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So Aaron Rodgers in his offense, down by 13, a minute 38 to go. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. And that's complete to Davis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. On first down, Rodgers. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Open man here is Conklin. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Once more from the 11, second and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. This is caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Rodgers to throw on third and one. That's pulled in by Wilson. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown, but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick, and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle, miracle. last chance. Zerline connects on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now... This game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Down to a knee goes Love, and that should be the final act of this football game. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA.